Hello beautiful Capricorns, how are you today? Welcome to your new love reading for this month. Let's take a look and see what the overall energy is for our beautiful Capricorn friends. All right, we have, what do you need to release the waning moon? So spirit is saying that you need to release someone, something, a way of th thinking, a way of maneuvering. So you will know what that is most likely. And let's see what we have for the overall energy between you and a new person coming in. Let's see what we have here. So who's coming towards our beautiful Capricorn friends? Okay. The bottom of the deck energy is, ooh, a new beginning. Well, that's a great card for new love. So we have the full card as your overall energy for the reading. I love it. Let's see if we have, oh, we have a beautiful table shot. Except that it shows way too much. So we're going to scoot that down. Okay, there we go. All right, so you saw the, all my secret wires. Look at you. Capricorn, winner, winner, chicken dinner. We've got some very strong Leo energy. Well, you might have met a Leo, an Aquarius or a Leo. You are off to a great start. Okay, so you are releasing something. When we clarify that, we see the judgment card. You've let go of someone or something. Ooh, the way you view the future. You are manifesting the person that you've always wanted to have. That's, that's our beautiful Empress card, Taurus energy. Very complimentary to Capricorn energy. Let's see how everyone's viewing you. In the dating world, Two of Cups, you are a serious contender for love, my friends. Two of Cups, soulmate energy with Venus. Oof, you are carrying some really, really powerful energy forward at this time, Capricorn. In your heart space, you feel lonely. You feel as though somebody left you in the cold. It looks like you've released that person. Capricorn's always very smart about that. I really like that about you. I really see, look at, we now have Leo energy. We just have Venus, Venus and Mars and Leo. That's the energy that we're coming into. Sun sign energy is moving into Leo. So I really feel that you're going to manifest love sometime during this uh, Leo season. And we're seeing this beautiful release, judgment card, Scorpio energy, letting go of something. The five of coins is Taurus energy, so it does feel as though you may have taken a hit financially or emotionally but again that is a card of illusion a little bit because it's a spiritual card if you pull up your head capricorn you can see the key you can see the lock you have the answers it, they are at your disposal okay so what do we have look at this more leo energy some of you have leo in your chart you have the strength you have the infinity symbol you are about to meet someone who is likely to be in your life for many years with the infinity symbol. I always feel like, personally, like the strength card is a soul made of different sorts. People who you meet time and time, maybe romantic or not. Look at the tower card. Spirit is advising that you build a strong foundation. That the issue, what Spirit is saying here for you, Capricorn, is that for whomever you have released, whoever this person is who left you in the cold, you didn't have a strong foundation. But look at the energy you're going into. You're really recognizing that with a strong Leo energy. Wow, powerhouse of a reading, powerhouse. This is a major new love relationship. You have one, two, three. Four, five major arcanas out of, you know, nine, nine cards already. So let's see what your outcome is at this time before we clarify. What's the outcome for our beautiful Capricorn friends? The death card. So you may be attracting a Scorpio, but there's a double message. You may be releasing a Scorpio because we can see that your last relationship was built on a false foundation. We see release and we see Scorpio. So what I am witnessing for you here in this reading is that you have a new beginning. You're attracting someone who is going to come in very powerfully. Somebody with whom you will fall in love, they will fall in love with you. 
You have a lot of good fortune, but you are letting the past be the past. Good. Look at it. You intuitively know who this person is. You intuitively understand who this is. Cancerian energy, you want somebody with whom you can nurture. You want someone who will nurture you back. And you are going to succeed in attracting that. What is this release? There we go. The Libra Queen says, chop, chop. This person was someone who treated me badly, who left me in the cold. Chop, chop. You are releasing someone from your life, both energetically and in a very direct way. You have definitely told this person that you are out of the relationship, that they need. No, do not disturb in the future, said Judge Judy. You're out of the courtroom, so good for you. You put an end to something that was very painful for you. Why do we have the Empress here? Why are you manifesting this beautiful energy? You are working on yourself. You're working on your night moves. You're working on your day moves. You're working on your money moves. Capricorn, great energy for you. You're manifesting what you want. You know just how to do it. The Two of Wands says that you are at a crossroads in your life and that you are looking for this new love relationship. You are really ready for it. You're very balanced right now, Capricorn. The energy is quite beautiful. Cancerian season, you may have met somebody during the time of cancer. It's very possible. You could be dealing with a cancer or, you know, falling in love with a cancer. And here we have, I'm talking about Cancerian energy. We now have the Queen of Cups has arrived in the house. So you may be, again, attracting somebody with a strong Cancer influence in their chart or just a very loving, very loving energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so the King of Wands, you may be meeting a Leo. You may be, there's two, a lot of Leo energy here. One, two, three, three Leo cards. A lot of Cancerian energy. Why do we have the Strength card here for Capricorn? You want your balance. For some of you, you may have actually gotten divorced or you may be in the process of it. With justice and judgment, I would say it's a, it's a very legal ending. It looks like it's been a rocky road. Let's see what this rocky road is about. Ooh, somebody was a player. A player with money, a player with stability a player with everything that they did. They left you in the cold, but you are gonna be okay. That seven of coins says that your money will level up again pretty soon, and you are going to be very happy about that. You're very invested. You're very invested in your future. Let's see what we have, the Leo energy. The strength card, Leo energy, clarifying Leo energy. You've had the strength card twice. You have fire in your belly for finding love and you are going to find it. In calm waters, your ships arrive. All right, staying very balanced. Why is the death card here? What is the transformation about? You have 10 of coins, you're going after you end this relationship. You are in the process of manifesting this beautiful Virgo energy, legacy life, big life. It's a kind of marriage that creates great families. It creates ancestral relationships. After you finish healing, it does look like you are going to strike out on your own. Your new lover may be somewhat younger than you, but you are headed as you heal. The Four of Swords, you're taking a little bit of a break, but you have fire in your belly for this outcome. You are going to manifest a brand new relationship that is very loving, very calm, very stable. Somebody who really knows how to uh, manifest what they want, and you're going to have a legacy relationship. The Whale Song, resonating with the way you feel, Capricorn. Let's see what we have here. One more card. The Farther Gate. Bold step forward, Capricorn, into your future. Your future is today. Thanks so much, Capricorn. I hope you love that new, I hope you like your new love reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.